it was a very loose way of painting, which people at the time might have dismissed as an oil sketch. But it was on purpose. It was being different, being young, being the revolutionary, trying something different and finding a way of expressing things and showing the world in a different way. The oil painting by Ludwig Meitner called Apocalyptic Vision and it depicts the human body with all its fears and angst and pain in this apocalyptic situation. He was somebody who was painting in Berlin. He was inspired by painters like Van Gogh. When you look at the work, you see the thick brush strokes, you see the use of paint physically on the canvas. And he was somebody who was independent. He was not part of the Blue Rider group. He was not part of the Bricker group in Dresden. He was an independent artist working in Berlin. And when you look at the date of the picture, 1912, you can almost feel as if he has foreseen what is going to happen in 1914 when the First World War started. You see the collapsing of the city, the collapsing of the human being, the angst, the anger, the suffering of human beings. And he is somebody who is seen as a prophet in regards to what's going to happen later on. Hence his painting in the Leicester collection is a very important example which captures exactly this the prophecy of what's going to happen, the independent mind of this expressionist working in Berlin. And interestingly painted at the same time as Franz Marc painted the rather romantic seeming expressionist work of the Red Woman. Expressionism is a very intense and very emotional kind of art. And you know, as the term expressionism already says it's something you express, some internal emotions, some internal feelings, something you know which comes from the inside. Hence it's an art which is very different to impressionism, where you talk about an impression, a you know, beautiful sensation. Here you talk about something much deeper, and that is something which really fascinated me. When you look at those works, you look at great colors and very, very strong statements. When you look at works by Ernst Ludwig Kirchner or Franz Marc or Vasily Kandinsky, these are all very, very expressive and strong works they created over those years. Thank you.